Do you know the right person? Do you know what you want? If you know the, what you want, you will know what, who is the right person. A lot of you don't know what you want. You just want a husband that is calm, that is sweet, that is nice, that is respectful. But who is the right person? Now let me give you an instant. The right person is, is the one that is fit for your destiny. Do you have the destiny? A lot of you have sold your destiny for what? Pot of soup. Shawarma. Spaghetti. Shawarma. Outing. A lot of you have sold your destiny. How will you know the right person? If you sell your destiny for what? Shawarma and sleeping with men. You do prostitution. You sell your destiny. How will you know the right person? Do you understand? You sell your destiny for 1,000 naira. A lot of you ladies sell your destiny for 1,000 naira, 10,000 naira. A man will sleep with you 20,000. He will give you 20, 10,000. Some of you, 2, 5. 2, 5, a man will sleep with you. And it takes away your destiny. Where do you want to see the right person? Except you have a destiny. That is when you will see the right person. Do you have a destiny? What are you doing as a lady that will make sure that, ah, okay, I'm doing this part of thing. I need a man right for what I do. What gift do you carry? A lot of you, you have sold your gift through people that you sleep with and through chop chop, you like food too much. A man, look at you. You that don't want to go out, you are sick. I'm tired, I'm sick. I, I My body is not strong. But when the man just tell you, let's go to Chinese restaurant, you will carry, you will not even bath, you will spray perfume everywhere. You will spray, spray your head. You will spray your hair because your hair, you have not dried it. You will not spray it and run because Chinese, a lot of you value restaurant more than your life. A lot of you value restaurant more than even marriage. That is why a lot of you go to restaurant. You eat the man food, eat the man, the man is buying this. You are there, 35,000 has gone. When he asks, kneel down and propose, you slap him. Laka daraba suta. He kneel down to propose, you begin to slap him. Or you followed him to a particular restaurant or eatery or a supermarket. Why did you follow him? You followed him to that place. Did he go and he came from somewhere? Did he come from somewhere? He met you there and then now kneel down and propose. A lot of, look at how I see a lot of ladies slapping men and they propose. Now men are scared of proposing in public. They will just say, let's do it within ourselves. Let's not go public. In case you say no, I will say yes. So thank God nobody saw the no. Because you like restaurant more than marriage. See, a lot of women value supermarket more than marriage. They value supermarket, restaurant and the food they will eat. Because they have not been eating in their house. There is no food in their house. Not of you. The way, where your punishment comes is when the man has not arrived. You begin to order things. The man now tells you order. This is where a lot of men punishes a lot of ladies. Some men do punish a lot of ladies. They will not call you order. I'm coming. Order. Don't order anything. First of all, for you to know the right man, you must have a destiny. What do you have? What are you doing? First of all, know yourself in God. Build yourself in God for you to know the right man. Build yourself in God. Because if you build yourself in God, the Holy Spirit begins to tell you the things to say, to pray about. It begins to give you prayer points, what to pray that will activate the right man. If the Holy Spirit makes you to see the truth, this truth is what comes to set you free. For you to know who is supposed to be in, lo in your life. It's not every man that is supposed to be in your life. It's not every man that is supposed to be in your life. You better know the truth. If you know the truth through the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God makes you to know the truth. If you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. And when the truth sets you free, you know what you want. You cannot choose. A lot of men might come into your life and begin to ask your hand in marriage. But when you know the truth, you will not say, this is the man that is fit for me. And all this I have surveyed and the Spirit of God have given me knowledge and discernment to choose. So you don't fall into trap. But if you don't know what you want, you only say, I want a man that is rich. I want a man that can buy me shawarma. I want a man that can, that can, that can satisfy me on bed. I, that a lot of you. There are some women that will say, I want a man that can say, that is your problem. No, it's beyond that. Yes, it's good, but it's beyond that.
you need to think deeper. That is a woman who has a destiny that thinks deeper. If you have a destiny as a woman, then you will be able to think deeper. Who is supposed to, the man that is supposed to be in your destiny. Your destiny is more than gold. So you need a man worthy of your destiny to be there. My sisters, hope you ladies heard it loud and clear. Yes, that is a lady speaking. Yes. If you didn't get the message, go back, click, rewatch the message over and over again. If possible, take a notebook and a pen and jot down some very important points. Yes. I didn't say nothing. I raised my case. I am just the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. Have a nice day. Hope the message is clear. No interpretation or explanation needed. The messenger is gone. Ciao.